Yo! Welcome back to the YouTube channel guys and today is going to be a bit of a gym review. I am sitting outside Fly Fit in Blanchestown. It's 20 past 9 in the morning. The gym is actually really really close to where Strength and Fitness Westside is. It's really really close to the outlets in Blanchestown if you guys have been to the outlets in Blanchestown to the Nike outlet and stuff like that. It's actually very very close to there and I think there's a place, I think half and half is literally like right behind me. It's in the sort of, um, there's like another little business park if you kind of come out of this one and then into the, into the next one. It's just like right around the corner. So you got a pretty awesome gym right here and you got a pretty savage uh, place for grub. After your training, I've come up to train with one of the lads, Mickey Hughes. He is a personal trainer in, I think it's Fit for Less up here in, uh, in Dublin and we decided to come to the new flight fit here in Blanche uh, to give it a little lash. This gym only opened, I think, when did it open? I'm gonna check the Instagram here. It's literally one week ago this gym opened. There is the video that they put up, the little promo video on their Instagram. And I sort of give you a little bit of an insight into what's in the gym. And from the outside, the place looks enormous, like absolutely huge. And I'm dying to get in and get a look because it's obviously it's literally brand new. It's only open less than a week, so all the gym kit is gonna be absolutely immaculate, all the like all the concept kit is gonna be brand new. And hopefully, hopefully there'll be a bit of kit in here that I haven't really tried before myself. So I'm looking forward to having a little look around the gym. I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like and I'm super super jealous that there isn't one of these gyms near where I'm training at the minute. The plan for training this morning is just to get a bit of a Metcon done because myself and Mick really enjoy sort of Metcon training. Anyway, time to get in and see what the gym is like. So this is what the gym looks like from outside. It's this whole building. It's absolutely enormous. Right. This is like bleeding nightclub. There's the spin studio I'm just after passing. And also, dress rooms are down here as soon as you come in on the left hand side. But as soon as you come in the gates here, you're straight into like an open area, sort of grass area here. And you've got concept rowers, you've got assault bikes, you've got ski ergs, boxing bags, ropes, you've got plates, kettlebells, dead balls, wall balls, absolutely everything. So this is the top level. Jesus. So you've got your assault runners. You've got endless amounts of racks. So you've literally got about 10 squat racks all around here. There is your hip thrust or your glute thrust machine. Kneeling leg curl, you've got plate loaded leg extensions, hack squat, plate load well. This is a similar, this is almost like a V squat, but not really. It's like a squat machine. Vertical leg press, which is right here. Double leg press down in the corner. Assault bike, concept bike, rower, ski erg, Jacob's ladder in the corner. Man, this place is huge. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> right, so warm up done. We're ready to get stuck in. Let's do this. <laughs> 500 meter running and stairs to start. It's gonna be a tough one, guys. Nice. Nice. Right, yeah. <laughs> when you feel the world is over, when you say you're feeling lonely, if you ever need a shoulder. And now we're going to go into another Metcon. So the plan is to do two strength based exercises, three cardio exercises, just leg presses, and this sort of open area down the end of the gym here, which I'll show you guys. Um, so the plan is leg press, shoulder press, all 20 reps, and then ski erg, assault bike, concept bike for 20 calories each, five rounds. This one's gonna be, it's gonna be spicy.
thousand calories done in an hour and 10 minutes, an hour and 13 minutes. Oh my God, absolutely burst. I'm stinking. So, just dying to get into the shower. Just to give you guys a look at the gym from this end. So, where we are working out was this little sort of corner of the gym that has some of the concept stuff and it also has like a Jacob's Ladder as well. But this is what the gym looks like from the bottom end. Well, what do you think of that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come here, what do you think of the gym, bro? Oh, unbelievable. It's really sizable as well. It's just crazy. It's insane, isn't it? The equipment is just phenomenal. It's top end. Absolutely top end. And an insane amount of space. Now, this place is crazy busy at the minute. And there's still tons of room for everyone to train. So, there we go. That is Flyfit Blanche. Uh, done and dusted, got a quick shower and I am starving so I might stop off in the garage down the road and actually just get a protein bar before I actually get proper food uh, because I am absolutely hanging. It is 12 o'clock, 12 noon and now it's time to head back down the road. But oh, one thing I didn't get to show you guys is the heated chamber and that is like on the bottom floor just as you come in where uh, there's sort of like a small grass sort of open area as soon as you come in the uh, turnstiles and it's on the right hand side The only reason I didn't get to show you it was because there was a class on at the minute And obviously you can't just barge in, in the middle of a class and start filming what's going on uh, But yeah, it's similar to as far as I'm aware. It's a heated room uh, And it has ski ergs. It has uh, concept bikes assault bikes and rowers in it uh, I would love to try a class because the polar, it actually has the whole polar system um, where you can actually wear your polar heart rate strap or you can wear the one, I think it's called maybe the H10. No, was it H10 or H1? I can't remember, but it's the arm strap anyway that you can hook up to the screen that actually displays your heart rate and how many calories that you're burning during the class, which is pretty epic so I'm actually dying to try a class like that. I'm also eager to try, I don't know if you guys have tried it yet, but Comment below and let me know if you have. I've yet to try a bike row ski class. Um, I heard they're pretty good, so I think we're gonna have to go and see if the hype is actually real. But anyway, listen, look, enough waffling. Time to get home, time to get some grub. Instead of going all the way home and looking for grub back home, I just came for half and half around the corner. Totally forgot that this place was here, even though I said it like in the video earlier. Got some crimbo songs on as well. Oh man, that was delish. So now the plan is to actually head out to Mead. That's where Viv's family is. So Viv is actually on our way there, and I'm gonna meet her there. It's only about maybe, I think it's maybe 20 30 minutes drive from where I'm at now at the minute. But I'm gonna head out there because her auntie Monica is there, and I wanna see her. I haven't seen her in Young's. And she's really sad. And her family's there. I think Monica's son is there, who's Vivian's cousin, and his new baby. So we're all going out. I'm meeting Viv there. We're going to see the fam. And Viv is going to head off to her friend Nadine's going away party tonight. And some guy just bumped into my wing mirror. Great. Anyway. Oh! And we get to see Charlie the pup. Buzzing. <laughs> Good to see Charlie. Delighted. <laughs> Yo, so we just got home from Viv's house. It is six o'clock. And I just stopped into Super Value to get some potato. Potato! some cold cannon and I'm making myself green veg, cold cannon, pack of the potato and I've got here's some I made earlier, here's some turkey burgers that don't look too appetizing but three turkey burgers, some greens and some potato that's going to be my next meal and I might have, I might rob some of my cousin's skills. Also 
I haven't really sort of discussed what has been going on with me since the last video. Um, obviously I've done the photo shoot with One Fit, which went very successfully. Um, so my diet has pulled back a little bit, let's say. It's less restrictive, which is great. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but Kenzie sucks a teddy. I'll show you. So she sucks a teddy. I don't know if any of you guys dogs like I'm not sure if this is a regular thing with dogs, but I've never seen any other dog do it. Comment below if your dog has like a favourite toy or like sucks a teddy or anything, or actually just let me know what the hell this is because she's always done it from when she was a pup. She just like sucks. And he sort of like she has a favourite teddy, which is the one she has right now. And she just loves that one, even though it's stinking. Anyway, yeah, so my diet has sort of pulled back. I've added a lot more calories back into my diet, which has in turn fluctuated my weight up a little bit, which I actually don't give a shit about. I'm stronger in the gym. I'm recovering better. I'm actually getting way better sleep. And uh, I don't know if this ever happens to you guys when you're dieting. Comment below if this happens to you, but my sleep gets affected um, the leaner I get. I don't know what it is or how it happens, but yeah, the leaner I get, I always find that my sleep is affected. So, my plan is just to sort of stay at maintenance until we're heading to Galway next month. Myself, Jason, Sonia and Viv for a weekend. So I'm probably going to train while I'm over there, but we're going over for the, I think there's Christmas markets. Let me know actually if you've been to the Christmas markets in Galway. I've never been. I've actually, funny enough, I've never been to any Christmas market, as sad as that sounds. It sounds like a very sheltered life, but I've never been to any sort of Christmas markets or I've actually never been to Oktoberfest either, which is kind of sad. <laughs> 30 years of age and I've never been to Oktoberfest or I've never been to a Christmas market. It sounds like I've had the saddest life ever. But listen, trust me, I'm making amends here. So we're going to the Christmas market in Galway. And then we're just going to stay over in a hotel, I think on Air Square. I'm not sure what the name of the hotel is, but we're staying over in a hotel there. And going out for a couple of nights. So I think we're doing Saturday and Sunday night rather than Friday, Saturday night. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. And the plan is just to sort of keep my training as it is. Keep my diet as it is until after Christmas. And then assess the damage post-Christmas, post-New Year's. But yeah, that's pretty much bringing you up to scratch about my food, my training, my diet, my physique, and yeah, my food's ready. Time to get stuck in. Is she? Is this for me? Can I have all of it? Pizza. Do you not want it? This is my second night in a row having pizza. Tom made homemade pizza last night. Where did you get this pizza by the way? Jesus, the size of this. Is this the, is this the same one that you cooked? No. No? It's a different one. But it's the same make, is it? Yeah. Done stores. Okay, let's not. Let's not look at that. Let's not look at that. Let's not look at the macros. This has to be one of my favorite Christmas films. Jingle all the way. Actually, comment below what your favorite Christmas movie is. This one and the Santa Claus has to be my favorite. Oh my God, I am wrecked. I'm also just sitting down to watch Harry Potter. I was watching Jingle all the way, but now I'm watching Harry Potter and I'm actually, I was just checking my fitness pal. I'm running severely low on protein. So I'm going to go down and have a protein shake. And I'm going to have, uh, what did I factor in? I'm going to have a chicken toasty. And I'm going to have a bowl of soup, a chicken veg soup. Because I'm just in the mood for soup. But I'm back on that soup buzz. Also, do you guys consider Harry Potter a Christmas film? I think I would. Because all of the, like, all of the movies are sort of based in and around that time in the castle. When they, well, when they go to Hogwarts. So, 
yeah comment below and let me know also comment below what your favorite christmas movies are if you're interested to see or comment your top three christmas movies below has to be home alone home alone has to be in there jingle all the way is definitely in there for me and what else probably the santa claus which is one that i've sort of only started to like a lot recently i never used to like it i never liked the actor in that i don't know why the, like the main guy that plays the santa claus i never really liked him but yeah that's pretty much it just gonna go down and get some food and then i'm gonna try my best well i'm gonna say i'm trying my best to get an early night but i'm not because it's quarter to eleven but uh yeah i have clients early in the morning because it was the only time of the week where they could actually fit in to my schedule. Which I don't really mind because I'm going to get them over and done with by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. But I never normally work on Sundays so yeah, it's just a little bit of a different schedule this week. But yeah, that's all my crack. And I'm going to try to get some more regular videos. I know I say this all the time when I say I'm going to upload regularly. But then one thing leads to another and I end up just chasing my tail with all this type of stuff but i hope you guys enjoyed the video give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it uh comment below hit me up with any feedback or comments or whatever you guys have and uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one